got such a weedy little guy because this is a normal quail and this is probably what us normal people get if we don't have access to the beautiful because they are gorgeous. I'm just going to do a bit of a crispy fried chilli quail. Well, I've got these um, little guys and they're probably what you'll normally find if you, if you order a quail. And what I'm going to do with them is give them a fry up. But first I've got to get them to a state where I can fry them. Run along one side of the backbone where it notches and then just come down and hopefully I haven't wasted too much and then just rip off the other bit of backbone. And I never believed my butcher when he told me to do this, but um, just mm. kind of give him a bit of a flick to break all of this, what do you call it, rib cage. And then just get rid of ribs, wishbones, all of that sort of gear. So that's what you want. And the little wings are still on here and they're going to burn. And that's fine, they're the crunchy, crispy little bit. And the rest of the bird should just be perfect. This marinade's about sugars and salts and heat. So it's a tablespoon of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of dark soy or thick soy, and three tablespoons of hoisin. This ratio all comes out in the mix pretty much in balance. And then the flavourings are ginger but fine, one teaspoon, garlic, one tablespoon, but a little bit rougher because otherwise the deep fryer oil's going to burn it. Ah, good so, point. So, yeah, a little bit chunkier than the ginger because the ginger's a bit more robust. Chilli really rough. <laughs> a lot. Mm, okay. And remember, it's yeah. actually a lot of this is going to fall off in That's the fryer. Good. Yeah, because it's over the top. And cayenne pepper, just because Maggie's around, uh, about half to one teaspoon. And then Chinese five spice. And what you do is just pop these guys in, and if you can give them a day in the marinade, what you'll end up with is the marinade will go more liquid because all of the, the goo will come out of the quail and they'll all be nice and sugary. And hopefully, when I deep fry them, this skin's going to really, really come up crispy, but I've got a little bit of a trick to move that along. So these in the fryer, okay. because they're really quick, there's nothing to it. I'm just getting a little bit more flour because I don't want to kill the quail, I need some sort of coat. And this is a good coating, and remember they're going into hot oil. And a lot of the marinade flavours lost um, in the fryer, so I reckon another whack of five spice in the flour is a good idea. And just coating them all up and it's not southern fried chicken <laughs> it's got no egg white in there so it won't have that sort of effect but it hopefully will be crispy so let's give them a shot my oil's not too hot I don't want them to stick so I've just got to make sure they do float these ones here see how the, oh, the, the wings, wings are separated free? yeah Whereas this one here, I didn't pull him the wingtip away enough, so it's stuck on the breast, but who cares? That's OK, it's a minor detail. Now, this is good because the crust of the flour and all of the sugary stuff sort of stop the bird drying, and I'd just serve them like this, go back through that, and that's, that's about right. That's perfect. Yep. Lime on them. Coriander and mint is a good flavour profile for these guys. Mm -hmm. Grab a drummy. Yeah. Well, grab the grab whatever you want, and let me bite first mm -hmm. to, okay, you to give you a chili warning. <laughs> you give me a, a chili meter. You'll be fine, Maggie. Okay, I'll trust you. Do you get a big whack of salt, mm. big whack of sugar, big whack of lime? And the lime. Oh wow. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I really like it.